With three quarters of the regular season complete, the Merrimack College men's basketball team has already exceeded most expectations. Under the direction of a new head coach, a roster filled with underclassmen, and picked to finish near the bottom of the Northeast Division, the Warriors moved quietly through the preseason. With 16 wins and 22 games on its resume, and the Northeast 10 Championship right around the corner, Merrimack has gone from a pleasant surprise to a potent contender. Um, honestly, I couldn't have asked for a better start. Um, you know, the, the past five years that I've been here, you know, we haven't put ourselves in this position, so it's all kind of new to me, into the team. So it's it's definitely a, a good position to be in. We're, we're happy, but we're not content. Early on, I think it was um, we had a lot of unproven guys. You know, I think we had some we had some talent on the roster already combined with some of the new guys we brought in. But I think the, the driving force early on was just um, for some of these guys to, to go out and prove what they were capable of. Three of the Warriors' top four scorers are freshmen or sophomores, and two-thirds of the Warriors' rotation has two years or fewer of playing experience. Combined with the leadership of a pair of senior captains, as well as the exuberance of a first-year head coach in Joe Gallo, the ingredients were in place for the Navy and Gold to avoid any sort of setback. He came in here and he told us right away, this isn't a rebuilding year when I come in and I get this job. You know, we have enough talent in this locker room to make noise and, you know, win the any 10. So, you know, going forward, like, I don't care if you played one year, if you're a freshman, you're a ball player at the end of the day and, you know, I'm going to hold you to that standard. The program has reached a point where the mantra has shifted. At the start of the year, the Warriors sought out to prove they belonged. Now it's time to prove they have the group to compete for an NE10 title and beyond. We kind of talked about how we're going to get everyone else's best shot, um, but we also wanted to, you know, applaud our guys on the position position they put themselves in, but also let them know, you know, people need to get our best shot here as well down the stretch. So we need to have that extra edge to ourselves. February is a big, big month for us. You know, nobody cares what happens in November and December. February is kind of where people you know, up the ante a little bit and increase their intensity. And that's kind of what we've done in practice as well. Increase the intensity and it paid off for us. With one more victory, the program will have its most wins since 2010, last time Merrimack qualified for an NCAA tournament. It's only year one of Gallo's regime, but the foundation came together quickly for a memorable season. On our scouting reports, they should say, you know, Merrimack versus Merrimack. It really is more about us. If we handle our own business, um, we can play with anyone. But as you know from being around this league, um, anyone could beat you on any given night as well. So just really focusing on, on being the best version of ourselves these last couple weeks.